First off, you ain't write that verse. <laughs> Yo, that's what I want to clarify. That's what I want to clarify, man. Niggas, niggas, let's, let's get this shit clear right here. I was 15 years old yes, sir. spitting that. Yes, that of was Of course hard. I didn't write that. <laughs> Every other f- verse. Yeah. This is why I love title. Yeah. Check the credits, man. If you don't see my last name, MC, on there, <laughs> then I owe you some money. You heard? <laughs> Yo, but... Whoa, all right. When you listen to his first verse, Jay, right? Yeah. Is he really talking about you? Is that... It, it, it describes our relationship. Like, wow. they, at first, they say he wrote the song for Shaheen. But Shaheen was too lit at that time. And shout out Shaheen, too. I smoked his boots back in the days, too. That's my brother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we battled back at Stapleton. That's my bro, though. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Niggas know. There's okay. a lot of verses going on. Okay. That's, a, that's how I got my, my you know what I mean? Uh-huh. We was, he was out around there. He was out there. To every projects, bro. Everywhere. We didn't care. Brooklyn, nigga, I was in Staten Island. Niggas being Queens. Niggas right. being everywhere. Long Island, Harlem. We was we we had this shit called Shut Your Mouth Night. Mm. You pull up in your projects. Bring your best rappers out. They don't want to spit. Shut your mouth, nigga. Like, mm. word. Rest in peace, my man Batman, my man Bang. We used to move around and just smoke niggas. But let me, so let me ask you. So when you went to the studio, was the whole song laid out or no? Nah, see, listen. Put us on. And this is the ill shit about even him writing that. Because how the whole scenario happened. I was on the bench. It's early morning. Project was, benches? Yeah, and Marcy. Jay yeah. coming through the projects. It was him, Clark Kent, and T Strong from Original Flavor. Mm. So I'm just sitting out there hustling early morning shit. My little bullshit jacks in my pocket. Mm. And I'm like, yo, hove, I get busy, my nigga. And he like, what? This is when they used to call me Little Dre, because my brother named Dre. So he's like, Little Dre, you don't rhyme, man. Get out of there with that bullshit. Mm. So I'm like, nah, I'm telling you, son, I get busy. So mm. Clark was the one like, let me hear some. So I rhymed. And Clark looked at Jay like, yo, he might got something. So Hov was like, yo, come with me to the crib. Come me upstairs. So we get in the elevator. We go upstairs. He go to his back. We go in his room. He's in 5? Five, 534. Apartment 5A? Five, 5A. Five okay. Yep. So <clears throat> we go in his back room or whatever. He open the notebook. He rip a piece of paper out the notebook and just hands me the piece of paper. Right in the guard on life, bro. Kill me, dad. If I'm lying, I'm flying. And he said, as fast as you remember this piece of paper is as fast as you be on. No beat, no nothing. So I'm like, I take the piece of paper. First of all, Hov used to write in the smallest handwriting <laughs> so you could barely understand. <laughs> wow. So I go, I get the piece of paper, leave the crib, fly downstairs to my crib. <sighs> so I rewrite the rhyme and I'm spinning it over and over, just saying it in my mind. Probably like an hour tops on guard. Hour tops. I go back upstairs, they still there. So I'm like, yo, I got it. He was like, you remember the rhyme already? So I'm like, yeah, I got it right now. So he was like, yo, I'm going to play a beat. Let's see if you can rhyme to the beat. So he played the coming to age beat, and I spit the verse to the beat. And uh-huh. we jumped in the car right there, went to Clark Kent crib, and did the song in Brooklyn. that day. Yep. Okay, you just set- settled a lifelong problem because people said that Hove never wrote before, and you just settled it right now. <laughs> He's coming to age days. He wrote yeah, a little back, on a piece of paper. We I just, believe, we just I believe that problem. Reasonable Doubt album was, a lot of that shit was in the was, book. Was after great. that, I think it was just free, free will after that. Bro. Right. Because remember, Hov was rhyming super fast back Biggie. in the like day. He, he, didn't he get with Biggie and Biggie was doing that? Yeah. He, he, he did that from there? Yeah. Like, and remember, Hov used to rhyme super fast. So back in the oh, yeah, day in yeah. the projects, yeah. niggas, like used to be like, yeah, niggas used to be like, nah, he ain't that nigga. And I used to be like, I think it's bugging. He the greatest ever. And then when he slowed it down, it's just... He, he took it to the top. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, he 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 he, he says to you, because he's not, so he says no. to you, I want you to be my artist. How no, this work? no. See, and that's the thing. I do the song. Remember, the album not coming out. It's just right. we did the song. You're not on priority? That, it's none of no, that? No, it's okay, nothing. Okay. He just doing the album, him and Clark Kent, totally out their pocket, funding it they self, 100%. So then they do, a, uh, they get a deal with Payday, right? Payday, now. Payday, I said priority. Payday is what Reasonable Doubt came out on with in right. my lifetime and all of that. Right, we right. was running around with that, my brother. And we was running around with that, you know what I mean? But the album didn't drop probably, we did the song in, what, 94? And it ain't come out in 96. Oof. You know what I'm saying? So because in my lifetime it came out before, but that was independent completely. Yes, because I yes, had that original right. vinyl. Yes, right. and then it ain't so that two year gap. I was running around bugging in the hood, wilding like, right. and and once Reasonable Doubt dropped, that's why I'm, I'm not on Volume One. I was too late. 
Right. Oh yeah. Too late. Mm, Too yeah. late. I missed it. I missed it. And that and that right there, bro. If I can say I you know, you don't regret much in life, but that I regret, man. Is it the story when he came to your house and said yeah. he had a shorty with you? Yep. I yeah, regret that because I that tour going <laughs> on with Biggie, you know what I'm saying? That's something. But you had a tour going on with Biggie. You didn't he show up for a tour. tour. No, a, he went on oh, tour he went with Biggie. Big. He clipped okay. me. <laughs> he gave me the scissors for that. Like, this nigga wanna miss the studio? You're gonna miss this tour too, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that, that. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. at me when I get home, yeah, homie. Yeah, yeah. Mm.